Hello everyone and welcome back to Lakeberg Legacies here where we're in our la latter stages of the campaign really. We're only about 10 months left and we've got to make good use of that time. We're only at about 30,000 prestige and I've been watching some other people play this and they've been doing a lot better than I have, that's for sure. In the meantime, we're going to get things moving along. We've got a lot of single people and a lot of dead people. Cassian, has just, Cassian Fletcher has just died. Uh, and Eric was only 35, so I probably want to get them remarried. Or potentially remarried, but it's going to be a problem. Because that means we're having even more issues. Uh, he was a fisherman. We've got a lot of economic problems up the top here. I guess, you know, kingdoms rise, kingdoms fall, and at the moment we seem to be falling quite rapidly <laughs> into disarray here. Now... He was only 35. Um, where has he gone? But he's going to be heartbroken, Elric. So he's not going to do very well. I wonder if we can get some people married, at least internally. Not Elric, but maybe someone else who's on the younger side. Orpheus. Oh, so you were married to Rose, who died very. You had a very. Um, weird relationship because you were 27 he was she was 64 uh let's see if we can get you married off to someone orpheus you deserve a new partner but someone who would do, be a good match for you sadly we don't have a huge amount of hearts to work with so for the time being we just have to let time tick on we've got quite a bit of money but not much else for the time being uh we're struggling with clothes with fish with beer and with furniture uh, also with cows, but cow production is pretty stabilised in general. I don't have a huge issue with that just yet. Uh, but we do need some more hearts, that's for sure. Uh, we've got some Fetric couples and quite a few in love couples. Um, but probably more than not as many as we need, that's for sure. We've had to temporarily halt our banquets because we just don't have enough... Um, Police outside. Uh, we don't have enough people to really work it without really stagnating our economy. The Albrecht family have had a little Bartholomew. Barth Bartholomew, I don't think, is going to grow up in time, but Bartholomew would be a good man of the evening, dance and bard. Could be an issue when we get back up to 90 villagers, because then we're going to have some more issues going forward. Uh, next Crimson in nine months. Anything here that might be worthwhile doing? Uh, I will barter that for some additional prestige. Uh, but I won't bar to anything else, I don't think. Uh, so we didn't get around, we're not going to get around to building all the buildings in time, it seems. I'd like to build the Jousts, though, because that just seems fun all around. And in fact, I might be able to get this to work. We just need a little bit more iron. But that will get produced over the time, which is useful. Um, now, Martin here needs to be potentially an actress, a blacksmith or a knight. For now, we'll put her to. We'll put uh, Martine in here. And uh, Nathan, you'd be a good bar teacher or man of the evening. None of which we can really put you in for the time being. So we'll have the next generation come over here to take over the uh, roles of blacksmith when the time arrives. Uh, let's see if we can get Office a new partner. But the problem is, we don't have many um, good matches. Office at the moment, so we're just going to have to wait. Anyone else got any problems to deal with apart from the large amount of single people? Uh, no, it seems not for the time being. Let's get time ticking along. Yeah, we've just had a lot of we've had a lot of un, I'm not sure of unnecessary deaths, but we've had some tough deaths recently. That's for sure. We've also had another new baby, the life of family. We've had little Benedict, who might be good as a dancer, painter, or hunter. Oh, we'll probably have to get you into an apprenticeship scheme, but not more than that before the game ends, I would say. How are we doing? Irvin's not going to be a great future king, and Edwig is going to die fairly young, and Jerome is hardly a good uh, king consort. Irvin. I'm gonna need you to step up, buddy. You're gonna, you're gonna be in charge. We're gonna need you to do well here, and you're not gonna do it. 
Uh, we have a homeless villager that suggests to me that we have some turning 18. Orpheus Baden, a good hunter, mine or man of the evening. Wonderful. We've got quite a few empty homes. Mostly because we've had uh, lots of dead people. Uh, but that's okay. Orpheus will put you in here. So we've got a couple of people now to get married. We definitely need, this. We definitely need some more hearts, that's for sure. Uh, in fact, is that a second Orpheus? It is a second Orpheus. Both the Orpheuses need to get married. Uh, this Orpheus, however, would like to marry Pauline, who'd be an actor, a rat trainer, or a king. Not bad at all. They both like feasting, but they dislike meditation. Uh, talk about painting? No. Talk about on to on the battlefield? Yes. And they don't like fishermen? No, one out of three. But we'll get them married anyway, because I think it'll be useful to have you. You're not going to be in love very much, but we're not going to have to probably deal with the consequences. Because at that point, well, it'll be the end. Uh, right. Paul in here could potentially be a okay person here in the rat training. And that would sort out our health issues, so we'll do that. The other Orpheus who's 18. Hunter, minor or man of the evening. We're doing okay in terms of most stuff. Would you be okay as a fisherman? Or a carpenter? Uh, you wouldn't be a great carpenter, but that's because we've got Viola here who's dread generally dreadful at everything. Uh, she'd be a good guard thief or knight. Um, so I could probably move her over. Uh... In the meantime, let's just put you in the Hunter's Cabin, Orpheus, you'll be good there, that's okay. Um, was kind of somewhat stabilised our economy. Uh, we need to get someone in the beer area, so if I can get an innkeeper to be married to this Orpheus, we've got to deal with multiple Orpheuses, that'd be good. Thief, Blacksmith or Queen, I'm not sure we need you at the moment, and we don't need Tomaz either. But we'll get time to get along while we see if we can find them a new option. So we do need to work on the inn, we need to work on some other places as well. We seem to just be lacking a few jobs in certain areas, certain important key areas. We've got a few children coming in within a few years, but the realm is going to end soon. We have now made it to 30,000 30, prestige. That still feels quite low in the grand scheme of things. Let's speed up time a little bit and see what we can garner in the meantime. We've got a little bit of money, uh, so we could probably recruit someone new in, well actually in two months we can. May not be the best thing to do. Uh, Nathan's died at 39. Um, again, I think that's probably to do with the morale issues we had in the last couple of episodes. Not ideal, but we just kind of have to make it work. Barter for those paintings. And let's go to the Recruitment tab, two months. Well, actually, less than two months now. Uh, and let's go to couples. Let's see if we can get you someone better. Uh, ja, just. Jahink, Jahinktha? Jasinka? Be a good innkeeper. So let's do that. You both like feasting and the countryside. Or you both like feasting, you dislike the countryside, and you just get your own treats. Um, that one there, because that's about countryside. Uh, let's talk about Nugar. Wonderful, because I think they like food. Let's talk about good food. Three for three. Orpheus, you're going to have a wonderful marriage to the lady's name I can't pronounce. Uh, they'll be madly in love. That should help with our heart situation slightly as well. Which would be useful. Uh, but that does also mean we're going to have another issue with health, as we're now back up to 90 people. Uh, but we're going to get you into the innkeeper slot. Um, just get rid of this. Uh, not in the mentorship, however, we need to go here instead. So just think of just, just Synth, I can really cannot say her name, I can go there. Um, remind me, Pauline, you're a good actor, rat trainer, or king. Uh, do we need someone in the rodent's nest? We do, actually. You can go in there. That should hopefully solve that issue somewhat. But first, we've got a homeless child. lube has been sleeping in the streets for some time now. It's not an easy life per se, and at his age, it's even worse. To reason, Comrade, how old is he? 
10. Therese and Cromad seem to have had a house big enough, so the Frizzwith family could adopt Loop, but is it really possible? Yes, absolutely. I don't see why we wouldn't get them adopted. Uh, good. That's progress. Um, recruitment, we should be not too far away from a new person or new people. Huntress, healer, and bard. Minor, Cupid, and hunter. Petra as a healer. Let's recruit you. We'll get you married to someone eventually. For now, though, let's get you into a house. And Adelaide has died at 53. That's a bit more of a respectable age. So be it. Uh, let's just pause while we sort that so these situations out. Um, and she was a huntress. We are still okay in terms of food. So that's not a huge issue. I'd like to put someone into the... I was going to put you into the hospital, Petra, but it seems like we may not actually need one. Uh, a meal, however, you might be better off somewhere else as a dancer, bard, or an actor. And what about you, Asturias? Healer, baker, or thief? I think we'll take you out, Asturias, and we'll put Petra in. And then Asturias, we can move uh, somewhere else. Uh, thief, Baker, or Healer. We don't have any issues with the Thief skill for the time being, I don't think. Uh, that's only going to unlock when we have more villagers. You're not a very good harvester, and we're okay for apples for the time being. Are you a good fisherman? Not really. But you might be able to put us back into positive productivity there. Oh, what about the sewing workshop? We don't need... I think we'll be okay there. As long as we have production in terms of money. That costs a lot of gold. But I'd say it's worth it. Asturias might be an okay hunter. Is there anywhere else we can put you that might be more useful? Assassin skill, prank shop. What are we really strong for here? Happiness. And that, that's been a real issue before. Uh, you're, not, you're not a... Oh my goodness, what just happened there? Missing production resources. Oh, missing money. Okay, let's get money back quickly. Because uh, that was scary, losing all our... Um, having everything drop down to very, very low. That could have been a huge problem for us. It looks like we're okay. Next recruitment in four years. I'll give you too far away. For us to do anything too major with. Uh, Berenice has died at 69. Might possibly even be the oldest... Person we had married to Calanthe. They both did well, actually. And Berenice, you were a. She was an assassin. Ugh. So, Thieves Guild is down. Uh, Assassin's Guild. Seven put Paul in, somewhere useful. Uh, who could we put instead? Elric is blacksmith. Pavetti, you're going to have to come in here. We just need to sort this out. And in terms of protection... We might have an issue. But hopefully we can be okay. In the meantime, let's go to the theatre. I'd like to... See if we can up happiness even further. Because then we've had real issues with our... We've had real issues with our kind of morale in general. Another homeless child. Although Randolph is 15, but we'll get them all adopted. Definitely the best decision here. And Chloe is 6 and could probably do with a job. Um, do Fisherwoman, Huntress or Prankster? It's annoying I can't put them in as um, Pranksters for the time being. Uh, I'll put you in as the Fisherwoman's Apprentice. So we've got a few uh, people to put in. Uh, Everard here would be good as a painter, mason or uh, guard. So we put you in the masonry area. Although I think we would, we would have quite a few people here, that's okay. And Sigrid, you'd be good as a livestock farmer, jeweler or dancer. Uh, livestock farm, how many apprentices do we have here? Just one. We can have another one. See who's pretty good at this job. In fact, already as good as Mabel is. In as she, Mabel is significantly older. Is already 
worse. Um, Petra, you're single. Let's see if we can get you married to someone. Your snazzy um, eye there should um, bring in some excellent people with interesting stories. And look at that. Straight away, uh, Mirjam with Carpenter, Lumberjack and Prankster. Yes, please. You both like poetry and meditation, but you dislike public executions. Uh, I'm going to say dueling's bad. Yes. Uh, abolish the death penalty. And talk about benefits of meditation. Three for three. Wonderful. Um, and you should be a pretty happy couple together. Excellent. But every single time we go back up, we seem to be going up and down between 90 and lost, and that means that our, we have issues of protection, and it means that people constantly become employed and unemployed. Uh, Mirjam, we, well, I got you for a reason. Carpenter, Lumberjack, and Prankster. Uh, we have some real issues with our weapons at the moment. Goodness me, why is that? Um, not the bakery, but if I go to the forge. Ah, I see we don't have iron in the mines. Don't know why they're taking so long. In fact, well, actually, we can actually put Major in here to get a little bit more iron for the time being. We can always move her around to another location going forward. But I'm having real issues with our kind of stats here on the right hand side how we do in terms of the hospital we could get another person in here but then we'd be taking them away from another useful job yeah we'd be taking them away from another useful job and that's not useful at all for us really do we have any relatively young people looking for a partner wow Sybil 78 fair play Sybil her morale is utterly dreadful, um, but goodness me, Sybil, you're doing excellently, especially given you're in the mines. Uh, 37, 39, 45... Perfect, no. Uh, do we have any children who are coming of age soon, I wonder? Not necessarily ones with issues, but just any turning 18 in the near future. Palmer's 16. And we can put him into... So Irvin. We can put him somewhere. Everyone's morale is dreadful. That's kind of one of the main issues that we've been having. Probably we'll put you in as a jeweler or a priest for the time being. You can follow in your mother's footsteps as a priest. That might be good. Uh, Morris is on his way. Sigisbert is on his way. We've got a few children on their way, that's for sure. We also had a new baby. The Anora family has had a little Blanche. And the Tonus family has had a little Amanda. Uh, so Blanche would be good as a merchant, creepy or a prankster. And Amanda would be good as a jeweller, a thief, or a lady of the evening. Which is still I find strange that we can judge that when they're a child when they're a young baby, but hey ho, what do I know? Uh, another homeless child. I'm glad we're at least looking after Oh, this is a bit weird. Um this is very strange. Like, I appreciate that we're trying to get people orphans off the street, but having a 23-year-old, 19-year-old adopt a 16-year-old as a child feels weird. But sure. I don't see what's the worst that can happen there. Um, potentially quite a lot. We'll have to see. <laughs> In terms of buildings, I'd really like to build this um, jousting thing just because it seems really fun. We've got plenty of build builders tickets, so let's just keep pushing. We have no iron at the moment. This is a real problem for us. Uh, we can, however, build the barracks, but Orpheus has passed away at 29. He just arrived, didn't he? Uh, no, that was a different Orpheus, I think. Now, Orpheus, what were you? What was your role? What was your job with us? He was a miner. Maybe he died in an accident or something. Uh, mines, that's okay. We're still doing okay on. Just keep an eye on the fisherman's hut, though. Because Euphemia can't keep this all under wrap and key by herself. 
Uh, let's. I want. I want to build some more stuff. The barracks would be good. That helps with protection. Would be the worst thing in the world. But again, we need for that. We need more iron. Um. So there we go. Barracks is underway. Uh, we'll make all the working conditions as good as possible. Is there anyone we can put here? We can put in Sigisbert as a, an apprentice. Interesting. Yeah, we can probably put Sigisbert in when, he come, when it comes time. That would help with our protection issue. Brown family with our little Alice. Alice would be good as a gatherer, fisherman or teacher. Wonderful. Uh, let's also go and see what more we can build, if anything. Bard's house might be useful for entertainment. School, I don't think we need to focus on. I'd rather focus on stuff like the ballroom, the gambling den, and the jousting area. We just need that little bit more iron. We seem to be producing it rather slowly at the moment. That's because someone just died, I think. Uh, if I put Philomena over here... Oh, another homeless child. This one at least makes a little bit more sense. Hey presto, the family grows. If I take Philomena off here, is that going to dent my food production? Yes, but very slowly. Uh, but our family had a little Colette, as good as a butcher build or croupier. Wonderful. Hmm. Uh, we've also had a person come of age, it seems. Who's homeless? Not necessarily children, but just anyone. Uh, Morris, good as a baker, a butcher, or a lumberjack. Uh, first of all, let's get you into a house, a spare one. We'll get you a partner. Baker, butcher... I'm not sure we need another butcher, to be honest. Butcher shop. Because really, you do not produce many... You produce such little food for the amount of cows that are required. But I, I guess we'll get it done. Get you get another butcher person up and running. And that does actually help with our food issue somewhat. Morris, let's get you a soulmate. Uh, Mason, healer, teacher. No, not quite what I'm looking for. Uh, wow, you have all the same dislikes as uh, Andrian here. Blacksmith, merchant, assassin. Sure, you're a good match for each other. I didn't even see what you liked and what you didn't like. Uh, talk about good food. Talk about favourite songs. Two out of three. And flowers are pointless. Three for three. Pure out of guessing. I just shouldn't even try to remember, really. <laughs> it seems. Uh, so get you two married. Wonderful. And Siegfried has died, age 59. And oh, and Elric has died as well. Uh, Elric Blacksmith has died. And what is going on with our health? Why is our health so low? Why do we have plague issues? What's going on? We have people in the hospital, don't we? We've got people in the hospital. I don't understand quite what's going on. Give birth to 70 children, but why do we suddenly all have the plague? Uh, what's the cause of that? Is that because it uses a certain thing that we're missing? Oh, the rat trainer has died. That might be why. The, possibly two people in the rodent's nest died. Ah, I see the issue. Now... Andrian, we are gonna your blacksmith merchant assassin. Can I get another one from somewhere else to come over here and help? Comrade, you're gonna have to come here just to help with the health issues, I think. And then Ah, oh, that's not great. That somewhat sorts out our health issue, but not by much. Not by much at all. Damn, that's not good at all. Uh, okay, I don't necessarily need them to be homeless, but I'm just going to focus on the adults for the time being. 
Uh, we do have someone who is unemployed. First of all, Geneva here. It's priestess, rat trainer, or queen will put you in to the church. I think we already probably have quite a few people apprenticing in the church. Actually, none at the moment. Wonderful. You can go into Danny. And Andrin here. Blacksmith, merchant, assassin. We do seem to be having issues with our forge at the moment, so we'll put in... Uh, we just had someone here a second ago. Where's he gone? I know, I see. Uh, Andrew in there. There we, there we go. That sorts that problem out. So need leather and something else that we're struggling with at the moment. We, I'm glad we're at least getting all the children off the streets. That's probably helping with uh, morale issues slightly. Hunters cabin we need to really sort out because we don't have enough hunters. Uh, any children coming of age soon who can be hunters? You'll have to move down to a different trainer. Hmm. And our, oh, our fish is actually getting out of hand as well. Uh, our fisherman's hut here. Is there somewhere we can move around from elsewhere? Uh, Bernard, maybe? Move. I move Bernard here. Does that sort our fish issue? No, it doesn't. <laughs> and also, loot makes our jewelry go out of fashion very quickly. So we'll move Bernard back here. Uh, and we'll see if I can just get anyone married for the sake of getting a fisherman in. You're only 32, Paul, and let's get you someone. Knight uh, Assassin. We need a fisherman, really, or a fisherwoman. Uh, nice assassin blacksmith, jeweler, miner, builder. I think for the time being, this is becoming troublesome. <laughs> troublesome indeed. We just don't have enough people for all the jobs that we need doing. Uh, Irvin, you are a good jeweler, priest, or bard. That works, actually. Uh, so, we're going to move. Go to the jeweler's workshop, pause. Uh, Bernard's coming out, and Irvin's going to go in. That should still produce enough jewellery. Go to the fisherman's hut. Bernard can go in. He's not a very good fisherman, but he'll do the job. We'll upgrade this um, fish production. There we go, we're sorted. And I wanted to put uh, Singersburg here in the uh, guard's house. Wonderful. And in terms of the other new unemployed person, we have uh, Eric here. Good as a livestock farmer, man of the evening, or gatherer. Uh, we've got people. We already, have, we already have people in the pleasure house. I'm not sure we need another one because it's going to take a long time for a new person to come in, or for a new stuff to come in for the pleasure house. Livestock farmer, maybe gatherer, maybe. Uh, I suppose we could put you in the livestock farm. We do actually need another slot there. It produces hopefully enough cows. It doesn't, but we might be able to increase production that way instead. But we do need to also focus on our leather, which is becoming a problem as well. Um, actually, Miriam would be pretty good in here. Oh no, this is the Lumberjacks. I don't need the Lumberjack Lodge. I need the Hunter's Cabin, really. Is there anyone who can go in here who I can take away from elsewhere? Sigisbert, but he's not great. But we can get some new people in, hopefully, through uh, marriages. Jeweler, Minor Builder. Okay, Gail, we can get you in. They both like music, but they just like reading. So we'll go for that one there. Uh, Secret Dancing Partner? No? And Criticize Greekberg's Countryside, wonderful. You two can get married. Which is good. Uh, the fit is average. I guess that's because Pauline is heartbroken after his previous marriage um, becoming a, having an issue. Uh, so let's go to Unemployed here. First of all, Emmalina, Brat Trainer, Priestess or Seamstress will put you in the 
sewing workshop. We always need more people in the sewing workshop. We'll put you under Sabine here. And Gail. Oh, we've got another issue with the Thieves Guild here. Uh, actually, you wouldn't be terrible in the Thieves Guild. So we'll put you in there. That should have Lee keep us under... Should keep us okay in terms of protection for the time being. Uh, we've got a lot of homeless people, so let's get them into houses. Irvin can go in here. I've just got a new person come of age. Randolph. Randolph Mondragon. That's an excellent name. That's an excellent name. Purely just to have the name Randolph Mondragon. <laughs> uh, Randolph, you can go in here. The Mondragon family. Uh, in here, Sigisbert can go. I like your armor, by the way, Sigisbert. And in here can go Eric. Wonderful. Randolph, you're a good farmer or a miner. How are we doing for farming? We could probably do with another person in the farm. We always need more people farming, that's for sure. And let's see if we can get some people married. We've got quite a few young eligible gentlemen. Start with Sigisbert here. He's got some fancy armour. Wow, that's a you either disagree or agree with Romeo on absolutely everything there. That's I've never seen that before. Uh, priestess seems just jeweler. I don't think we need you. Rat trainer, queen priest. We don't really have enough hearts to, to do anything with. So we'll keep going on and see where we can go from there. Because no, I don't think I can buy hearts. I can barter for stuff. But that doesn't really help me. But I'll take the... Hmm. Do I want to sell my swords? I'll sell my swords, that's okay. Uh, but we might have another issue in the meantime. Our gauges fluctuate a lot when you go between kind of a certain significant amounts, like say 90 or 100 villagers. It means that things change quite often. Okay, let's go back to couples. Let's see if we can keep finding Sigurds about someone useful here. Some with a lot of blue ticks, please. No, not for the time being, unfortunately. And the uh, Cabrera family have had little Gregory. Wonderful. Would be a good croupier, painter, or baker. Excellent. I'm also going to build. I want to build this jousting thing because it just sounds fun to do, and I want to see people's. Um, I want to see people's uniform for it, really. So there we go. And that can be there. Oh, that requires another four people. <laughs> I guess you can kind of put people there who you don't have any need for elsewhere, but the problem is we do have need for all kind of our... At the moment, we have a need for all our people, and that's becoming... That's kind of why we've had so many issues. Um, but hey -o. Uh, I wonder if any of you can marry internally instead. Uh, Irvin and Irvin and Sigsbert can marry, actually. They're both like kittens and gossip. Um, no. No. And... One out of three. I think you'll be okay. You've both got excellent facial hair. Hopefully that'll be enough to talk about, because right now you're probably not going to be in very much love with each other. Yeah, loveless marriage. Which is really my fault, but we don't really have much choice. And we don't have any hearts spare, because we're, we're using all our hearts quite a lot at the moment, because we've kind of gone through a baby boom. Uh, Wallace have had little Frederick. Frederick would be good at teacher, here or bard. At least ish, not not a not a perfect person, but still good. However, I want to get Randolph Mondragon married to some just because of his excellent name. Sadly, no eligible bachelors or bachelorettes for the time. Bachelorettes is that a word? For the time being. Okay, we'll carry on. Pepper needs to have a sleeper day. We'll go for the hammock one, because that seems to have gone well in the past for other people. Uh, Scissors, Burton, and Paul in the sad. I don't know why. Ah, they're eminent. Okay. They don't have a very good relationship with each other. That makes sense. And the Eshtown family had little Adelaide, whose only trait is that they're a coward. <laughs> 
Interesting. But they'd also be good as a baker, a guard, or a thief. Very interesting indeed. Um, all these events here require so many people to work with, that's the problem. So we'll try to get the Painter's Workshop running. Uh, we've used 100 Builders tickets, so that's another good thing there. Painter's Workshop, I'm not sure we're going to need. I don't know how many use there is for paintings at the moment, it's not much. But if we can find a painter to marry Randolph Mondragon, that would be good. I'm not sure Randolph likes painters. And we don't have a lot of hearts to work with, that's, that's for sure. Hmm. But as we come up to year 70, with the uh, realm ending in exactly 5 years, 0 months, and 0 days, I think we all pause there. And we've had a bit of a tough time recently. I, I think the golden era has gone for Lakeburg for us, and we're kind of in a bit of a stagnation and downfall. We did okay, we're up to 34,000 prestige, but I do think the golden era is gone. And it's a little sad. But in the meantime, I think this will be the penultimate episode of this series, sadly. Um, I've really enjoyed my time with this game, and the final episode to come soon. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.